Okay, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing Hour of Code, Generation AI. We're going to be learning all about responsible AI and fairness and reliability, safety, privacy, security, inclusiveness, transparency, transparency and accountability. And uh, this starts with a little tutorial about how to move around. We're going to skip past that and get straight in to the meat of it. And this one is, uh, here's our agent look. And he's going to give us some tasks and they're going to get gradually slightly more difficult we are going to go through the solutions to this. We're going to talk about um, why it might be good to do uh, as a student or even as a teacher with your class. The first activity, as you can see, is building a very simple bridge, which, which uh, was difficult for me. And then we fall down. We speak to the robot and we fall down. I like this kind of portal falling thing that we're doing here. And at the bottom, we have got... Um, a lunch queue and as you can see one of the people getting their lunch is in a wheelchair and they're not being scanned and it's not inclusive so we're going to fix the scanner to make it more inclusive and here's the scanner and it says you need to change the way it scans so we're gonna get it to scan smart so instead of horizontally we're gonna get it to scan smart and here we go uh, here's a moment of truth to see if it will scan uh, the guy in the wheelchair is it gonna do yeah it sorts him out with his lunch just like everybody else which is inclusive so we've learned about fairness and inclusiveness and we've taught our AI how important it is to be fair and inclusive next we are going to move on to the next task and we're going to be um, now coding our agent to build a bridge and the bridge that we are building is seven blocks long so we want seven versions of this agent move forward agent place down I think the quickest way is to just duplicate the ones that are already there because um, they already say down and forward uh, unlike the ones that you drag in so it's a bit quicker duplicate that till you've got seven of each and then off he goes and now we can go across I'm going to learn about reliability and safety now uh, with this next task. And uh, here we've got an automated mower, a smart mower. And the problem it is with this mower that it is breaking the sprinklers. It doesn't know uh, that it's doing it, but we're going to teach it not to. So uh, here we go. What it's doing is it's cutting the grass and moving forward. And that's fine until it encounters a sprinkler. So we're going to get rid of all the cut grass and we're going to replace them with cut grass if no sprinkler. Sprinkler, um, so that it will avoid the sprinklers at all costs and we'll click run on that run our code and there we go sprinklers are intact and the grass is looking good so uh, we have got our mower there being reliable and safe and we've taught our AI bot now about fairness and reliability and safety next we want to build another bridge this time using a repeat at the forward and place down is what we want and seven times because all of these gaps are seven blocks wide easy let's get over there and talk about transparency and accountability uh, which is what we want from AI so we're gonna find a way to teach it about those things uh, in this one in this scenario we have a town and the town has too much rubbish all over it and our job is to uh, get rid of the rubbish by finding out why our system isn't working and our system looks like this there's a lot of grayed out bits of code and it says no coding is required here it's very strange so we're going to scan these robotic birds who are supposed to be collecting the rubbish and putting it in the bin but they're not doing a good job and we're going to decipher uh, what they're up to so First of all, we've got a word there that says trash after speaking to that one. So we've deciphered part of the code and we can understand that it means trash. We follow the remaining birds to scan a second bird here and it should reveal um, a word for our second line of code. And the second word is dumpster, which is good. We're getting there. We're making progress. Now we just need to get to the third and final bird. It should be behind us somewhere. Oh yeah, past this awesome little bit of parkour. Oh, no, I can't can't do it, um, but I'm sure you guys can and we're gonna head over to the third bird and get the third word um, And we're gonna decipher that and the answer is Release so trash dumpster and release um, so now if we head over to the control box It's still all grayed out. That's a shame. There's nothing we can do, but we need to go and get the location of the dumpster we need to get the um, data for the location of the dumpster it's called and uh, once we've got that we should be able to fix the code so if there is trash uh, the birds are currently picking up the trash but they're just moving it they're not doing anything with it so we want to fly to the dumpster and release the trash and repeat uh, as long as there is rubbish to be collected and there they go look at the birds doing their thing and we're done we have taught um, 
We have taught it all about, uh, pr not privacy and security, something. We've taught it about something. So we're going to carry on. Transparency and accountability. That's what we were teaching on the last one. And the final one, we can just build our bridge with prompts from the agent. That's nice and easy. And you can see here there's a family who have a smart lock on their door. But somehow all of these sales people know that they're in at, at dinner time and it's disturbing their dinner. And as you can see, there's a fault. So we're going to fix bug. And uh, we've detected a bug here that we need to fix that anybody can access um, their comings and goings on their smart lock. So we're going to change it from user to admin. So now only admins who go up to the door can make can uh, see the comings and goings of the people inside. So the salespeople won't know if they're having their dinner or if they're even in and they won't be disturbed during their dinner time. Look how happy they are about that. And uh, that teaches us about privacy and security so now we and now the agent turns into a scooter i'm not sure why it's like a cool space scooter and we whiz through space and we've taught our ai all about uh fairness reliability safety privacy security inclusiveness transparency and accountability and the final task is to um consolidate what we've learnt by matching up the four different agents uh, to four different icons and you can read the icons um, out if you close the coding window but I know what they are the red one goes to the scales yellow one goes to the shield blue one goes to the padlock and the green one goes to the thumbs up and there we go and what this does is it creates a, a kind of an ultimate AI agent who we'll see soon combining all the powers and what it'll do you can prompt you can prompt the super responsible AI and uh, it will build you a biome of your choosing. So you can choose from several biomes. You can choose if you want a village or a house or nothing in there. You can choose whether you want it to be in creative, creative mode or whatever. And then you get the certificate and you are done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you found it useful. Do, do this one with your students. It's good fun. And make sure you like and subscribe. I'll see you all later in the week.